So Sunday, sorry I forgot to catch up all y'all up on what's going on, but Saturday we didn't do much since we went to the concert the night before. If you haven't checked out my official Adventure Journal Season 1, Episode 4 official video. Now, so we had a concert at Chrisley Doo Days the day before. And, yeah, so, we didn't do much. We didn't wake up until about 9.30, about 9 o'clock in the morning. And, I think we drove around town a little bit. And, then, you know, we just spent the afternoon pretty much doing nothing, because... And you know, I took a nap about mid-afternoon. So, it's basically, basically nothing Sunday. Alright, so yesterday, we went up to Stadayton and Sheridan. There wasn't much in Dayton except a merch mercantile store. And, you know, we just kind of looked around, and while I was there, I got one of them old-fashioned Coke bottles full of soda, and a stuffed animal jackalope. Then we drove on to Sheridan, where we ate Perkins, and I had, I think it was like grilled salmon with teriyaki seasoning. And then we, by the time we got done at Perkins, it was raining and little bitty pea-sized hail bits were coming down. So, then we went and looked at an antique shop where I found a Elvis blanket and apparently got it here behind me. It's a 50 by 60. Sorry if it's upside down. And it's got his signature on it. So, and then, they, were, they had, like, two separate knife cabinets there. They had, oh, those big katanas, like, those big samurai swords. And, and then there were some, you know, they were decent price to think, like, couple of bar knives that were like oh nineteen dollars probably twenty and then the and I think like one of them was like twenty dollars and another I think like twenty nine so a few decent priced ones of like what you'd probably find at Baumgars and then Oh, by the time we got done there, it was raining again. A little thunderstorm. So we went back inside, and then I got an Elvis, the Elvis blanket. And... Then we... Oh, went on up. Ran up to another one, not very far down the street. And went some looking in there. Then ran back to the pickup where we drove to meet some of my grandparents' old friends. And, you know, hung out at their place for a little while. So, not much very fun yesterday. Alright, so today, we went to the, went downtown and looked at an, at least one antique store, then, um, we stayed there for about 15 minutes, probably, before I wandered off to the sports lure, it's like a sporting goods store, kind of like um, Cabela's or Bass Pro Shops. 
that was down the street a little ways and check that out. It was a pretty interesting store, but you know, not a not very big or not very wide sports equipment section. They had a couple of footballs, but they were probably about the about the size of my big giant NFL football. And then we took a walk down to the Jim Gatchel Museum. Um, for those of you who don't know he, who he is, he's was basically a, I think like a pharmacist or something. He had a drugstore or something here in Buffalo. Um, I think like early 1900s, like 1903 or something like that. 1900s or early 1900s. And, you know, was kind of wanted a museum, even though it was, wasn't just about him. It was, I think, like, everything from the back, way back in the prehistoric eras to the, oh, up until today, basically. And, you know, it was, it was interesting, you know. This is a, you know, more of a Victorian house that was turned into a museum. And then this afternoon, we went to the largest swimming pool in Wyoming. Here it's here in Buffalo. Um, the deepest was 12 and a half feet. And, oh... Um, there was a diving board there and a couple of little slides. Um, with the diving board, I'll be featuring on my post video, post adventure journal, part two. Um, the the video of me jumping off of it will be on there too. As long as, and along with a picture of me. Standing on the diving board. Um, you know, my, I folded up my knees to where my feet were against my butt, but, and I kind of hurt my lower forelegs doing that. So eventually I just got to the, you know, just kind of like having my feet out in front of me, you know, and kind of landing on my lower back but you know it didn't hurt you know because my i popped my hip out of place during weights class here i think like early second semester sometime early second semester doing i don't know what i was doing if i did something wrong or i mean i know i was doing a lot of it right but i don't think it was just because like all the pressure from the weights, the barbells and all that. I think that put enough pressure onto my my hips to where I it misplaced them, so eventually I gotta go to the chiropractor. But you know, I'm just gonna live through it. You know, I use Dr. Teal's in the bathtub when my pelvis starts bugging me. You know, then I'll just sit in there and soak a little bit. But I'll do a final episode tomorrow. Then I'll post my Adventure Journal post videos.